So what is that creature on top of a rock supposedly captured on film by tourists? That is not a snail head. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Many watching Animal Planet's Mermaids the New Evidence saw it as proof that mermaids do exist. The show, presented as a documentary, details close encounters with the mythical sea creatures. Dr. Paul Robertson, welcome. It even featured guests purporting to be scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. But it was all in the name of entertainment. And it turns out Dr. Robertson is not really a scientist. So many viewers were fooled, NOAA, a federal agency, felt compelled to issue a statement. It said, neither NOAA nor its scientists are involved with anything related to this topic. No one from NOAA was involved in making the fictional show, and the person identified as a NOAA scientist was an actor. If you watch the show closely enough, Animal Planet did include this disclaimer during the closing credits. Certain events in this film are fictional. Disappointed viewers took to Twitter after discovering the show was fictional. Animal Planet, you are dead to me. You got me on your Little Mermaid hoax. What was the freaking point, one said. Fascination with mer people is not new. A wave of films like Splash and The Little Mermaid has opened people's imagination to the possibility of life under the sea. Under the sea. That's apparently what the filmmaker, Charlie Foley, wanted. He told CNN that the show is based on real scientific and evolutionary theory and real life phenomena. Rooting our story with facts encouraged a sense of intellectual possibility. 